What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of our first historic video on the channel. Uh, this one is obviously focused around Esper Procession. We did not have very good luck at all uh, in the first video. We got all three losses, but we're trying again. We're going to do the best we can as I am learning the format and hopefully trying out what I think is a very fun deck. Uh, it's clearly not very competitive, but it is very fun. Uh, don't love this hand. Um, it does have the Woe Strider, which is quite nice. Um, uh, these tap lands are difficult, but let's let's try it. Um, this is one thing I don't like about this deck is it's got quite a lot of these check lands, um, and the check lands are in particular a little bit tricky when you only have check lands, <laughs> uh, and it's got a lot. So that's okay. We'll give it a shot. We'll see. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying though uh, a little bit of a different style video. We we normally just do standard here, so this is definitely a change for us. Um, but it's fun. It's fun to try different things. Just throw that out there. That's fine. Uh, next turn we'll probably just get was well actually maybe it's just Bastion that we get out. Let's get Bastion out. It looks like a five color deck. Maybe we have a chance. Maybe this is jank. Maybe we can do this, guys. I believe in us. Ixalan's binding. That sucks. <laughs> sure. Um, oh, look. A land that we kind of want. Um, I'm just going to play this out and attack. Uh, this is probably not 100% correct, but that's fine. Um, do we actually... We should have attacked first, but yeah, let's do this. Let's draw. Definitely should have attacked first. That was a mistake, 100%. Um, again, learning. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to take that action. Uh, let's make him answer it every single time. Let's throw this out there. Uh, and we'll pass. Uh, we can... No, uh, well, it depends what they do here. I'm leaving up this ascension here just in case, because uh, I'm sure there's quite a lot of really good stuff they could have. Okay. Uh, gonna go ahead and sack this. See what the card is. Um. Like weirdly, yes. Hmm. I'm gonna say no. We need the, the procession. Um, that's a very good card, though, so, I, you know, it is what it is, but... Um, let's attack first. We'll just play Bantu. Um, and we will not sack Woe Strider here. Uh, I'm going to keep it. Only because this just is now two things they have to answer, and I don't know. It looks like they've got a lot of single target removal or, like, multiple name kind of removal with uh, with Maelstrom Pulse. Which is, like, a super good card, but just a bit strange. Sure. I don't know what the heck this deck is, and maybe this is just me not knowing the format, but... Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Do the thing. What you got? Are we just going to die? That's reasonable to assume. Uh, they could all ju also just have like tech stuff in the sideboard. I don't know. But. Oh, yeah. We don't even get to see it. Well, that's super good. Okay. Uh, well, we can't play Bastion. Uh, Ixalan's Binding is super dope. Um, let's attack first. I'm going to play out Waste Rider. Just so we can, like, scry a little bit. Because <laughs> we really want the procession. Um, we've got plenty of stuff to do with it. Uh, okay. Yeah. What are they taking? Really? What is this deck, is my question. Let's do that. Not super helpful. Um, alright. Uh, kind of helpful. We can just play that. 
Uh, well, we attack first, right? All right, let's just play Shark Typhoon. <laughs> um, just because. Insurance policy. <clears throat> yep, Maelstrom Pulse. Do it. Do the thing. Now they just have, like, multiple avenues they have to answer on. So they can kill this, or they can kill, like, one of these things. But they have to kind of do both to really do a ton. Um... So I feel like somewhat okay, and then again, somewhat not, because I don't know the format, like I said, and I'm very curious to see what can happen. Uh, let me know, by the way, if you guys enjoy like historic videos uh, over standard, or if you want like a good mix. Um, we can certainly do both. Uh, I've, I've toyed with the idea of doing some standard uh, stuff, but just never really, or excuse me, historic stuff, but just never really dedicated much time to it. Um, we sack this so we can scry. Take action. Um, oh yeah, that. We want you. We do want that. That's so good. Okay. Well, we attack. Do the thing. We anointed procession. Um, yep. We'll see what they do. So they get to copy a, a instant or sorcery. Oh, they get to take extra turns. Oh, I see. Well, that's pretty good. That's really good. Oh, but they lose the game at some point. This is so jank, I love it. Um, and maybe it's not. Maybe this is just a really good deck and I don't know it, but this is just funny. That's really cool. I really like this. I'm letting them do it because I just want to see what happens. Nothing that turn. All right, that was exciting. Oh, you can't lose the game. Oh, that's cool. Every game I was off range. Oh, that's cool. Huh. This is really cool. Okay, I know there's like a lot of historic players watching and they're probably like, oh, this is like, duh, of course this is a deck and all this stuff. Dude, I've not seen it, so deal with it. This is cool. I really like this. All right, what you got? We get to Mythos of Aluna on Anointed Procession, which spits out two tokens, which then spits out a lot of tokens. And then we can Angelic Ascension and just do a ton. <laughs> um, yeah, do it. We're not doing anything. How many extra turns do they have? Three? Do they just win? Yeah, they just win. I believe. I mean, I guess we can just Angelic Ascension the Uro. That's a possibility. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they don't just win yet. I see. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna do that. I mean, why not? Um, but they have like so many things. They have to be able to win, I assume. I mean, they could just play out. No, they can't actually, it's exiled. Okay. This is such a strange deck. <laughs> this is <laughs> so strange. <laughs> I love this. I'm so happy that we got to be against this deck. Mm hmm. Do it. Do the stuff. Beat me. If you can beat me, beat me. This is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. Huh. Oh, they just get to return, don't they? And then they have extra turns again. Yeah, but they can't lose the game. How many cards are in their deck? 18? <laughs> We're, like, getting to the point where that's a thing. I mean, they have to know, though, right? Like, that's not something they should do. All right, uh, I'll let them... Uh, I've seen enough. 
They got me. That's fine. Uh, that was really sweet, though. That was really, really sweet. Um, screw my deck, dude. That's the deck we need to be playing. That was amazing. All right, let's jump into game two. Uh, let's see if we can actually get a win. Chances are probably not, but we're going to try. Mm -mm. Good, good, good. I love the fact that we get different decks. I'm kind of tired of standard a little bit, I'll be honest. Um, not only did Amonkhet remaster drop today, so like now was a good time to try something new, but um, it's kind of just been boring in standard. It's fine, but like there's just not a ton new. You know what I mean? Um, even with the bands, we've seen you know some decks pop up and stuff like that, and that's been fun, but it's really not been that exciting. Well. All right, cool. I'm going to guess we're going to lose very quickly. If this isn't a sign, I don't know what the heck is. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. You got it. You got it, bud. <laughs> um. Of course, now it's on top when we need a land. Um. We really just need a land. Unfortunately, we can't keep that, I don't think. But hey, we got our land. Hmm. What do we do here, I wonder? So we can't do anything about this, which is just so good. Um, no, that doesn't do anything. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, could we just pass. We'll see what we can do here. I mean, we're gonna die. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. Yep, Steel Leaf is good. Yep. I mean, we have to kill that, <laughs> like, at some point. Um, should have saved that damage. That was really dumb. Yep. I'm misplaying like crazy, which is fine. All right. Cool. Well, one problem somewhat diverted. Not really. We're still super dead. Uh, yeah, we just die. Yep, we just die. Uh, I mean, we can last a turn, to be fair. Um, but that's not really amazing. Questing beast, huh? Yeah, alright. I uh, concede. Alright, let's get into our... Uh, our last game, and then we'll talk uh, mostly about how I suck at historic. <laughs> um, that's okay. It's fun to try out new stuff. Uh, I don't think that this is the deck to try out <laughs> in historic, but uh, the idea is really fun. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a sealed thing. I think that would be fun. Amonkhet sealed. Amonkhet limited in general is very fun. Um, but we'll see. We will see. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Um, sure. <laughs> Turn one Legion landing is like pretty solid. Turn two raise. And then we have Angelic if we need it. This is our game, guys. This is the one. I believe in us. They scribed to the top. That's not good. That's very bad. 
Um, all right. Might be able to flip this pretty quick, though. Uh, potentially next turn, depending on how this turn goes for them. But okay, allied. That's not gonna happen. I guess we could have. Uh, that didn't work. Let's raise. Woe Strider. All right. Well, we attack. Let me play Woe Strider. Um. And now we hope we can get there. <laughs> Let it be known that this is at least a fun deck. Not a very good deck, but it's a very fun deck. Uh, yeah, you got it. Uh, let's scry here. Bottom. We need a procession. It's not a procession. Um... So we can just attack in just for the sake of flipping this, uh, if we really wanted to. Doesn't seem amazing, but it is a doable thing, just so we can then start spitting out a bunch of stuff. Um, part of me kind of likes that idea. All right, see what happens. Depending on where they block, we'll uh, obviously sack something to scry here. Nope. Um, okay. Get to just throw that down and pass. Um, I'm thinking it's better to use the, the land here, potentially. Maybe that's not the case. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll, we'll find out. We'll see. Yeah, it's fine. We've got a nice little kind of combo going on where we get to throw out a token, block with the token, and then sack the token to save damage, but also scry. Um, so, you know, there's something there. That's very good and kind of ruins the plan ever so slightly. Uh, let's do this. All right. Maybe you should have scryed there. I don't know. Um... I think we do the same thing again, just because we kind of can. Mm hmm. Hmm. So we do have options here. Let's do this. Okay. Um. That gets that down, it gets a scry going, and it gets rid of the Bone Crusher Giant. So like, I think that that's okay. It's not great, but we do kind of need to get to this procession as quickly as we can, so I think that we're we're doing the right thing, he says questioningly. <laughs> um, this is a very interesting deck when, you got, when you've got some engines going. I really, really like uh, Adanto. I think that's very, very good. Um, and especially in tandem, of course, with the Woe Strider. That's just amazing. Uh, we need four cards in the graveyard for that. Unfortunately, we don't have double blue here also. Um, granted, we've scried away a number of lands, but uh, I think for good reason. Um, so if we get a procession off of the top, we could wait on the Raise the Alarm, but I actually don't think that's the right thing to do. I think we need to threaten these planeswalkers as best we can, so let's do this. All right. Uh, well, first things first. I'm just gonna attack all here. Uh, if they had like a shock or something, I'd like to make sure that we kill that. Let's do this. Get a land. Put it on the field, and that's about it. Uh, we get to spit out another token here, but we're not doing a ton, I'll be honest. Uh, we're kind of spinning wheels a bit. We, I mean, we've been okay answering all their Planeswalkers, uh, in particular the double Narset, but um, they're about to get another one down, Chant, I assume, I will say. Um, oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. 
I wonder if, I guess we could potentially just fizzle that, but. Spit out a token. Yep. <laughs> okay. Another raise the alarm. How many raise the alarms can we get, I wonder? Um, the only good thing about that is I guess at some point we get, you know, enough that, uh, enough raise the alarms in the graveyard that we can just get Web Strider back. <laughs> um, yep. Just hitting them. See what they do. Sure. We also get to raise and play this, so we actually get three tokens this turn. Just have a lot of tokens. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like this is the biggest deal in the world, but maybe that's just me. I mean, they get to kill a token, which is like fine, but we also have like a butt ton of tokens, so I kind of don't care. Meh. They also just didn't discard a card, so there's that. Um. Yep. What you gonna do? Uh, I might hold off on the raise the alarm. Is that correct? No, it's probably not correct, is it? We we just play it out. How many tokens can we get? Ooh, Bastion. All right. Well, that's like super good. Yeah, do that. Because uh, now, anytime one of these tokens dies, uh, we get to... Okay, let's do one, two, three. Here. Three, four. Here. We'll just see what happens. Chances are they've got like a burn spell or something, but that's fine. That means they're in plus territory only with Narset, and this Narset doesn't really, like, doesn't really hurt us all that much. Um, it's not good, but it's not, like, the end of the world either. They just didn't block. It's kind of interesting. All right. So now if they sweep, they take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage and die. So, that's helpful. Um... We could also just Angelic Ascension something here if we need to. Yeah. Like that. I want to kill that. Oh. Thank you, I think. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> um, well, now we just Angelic Ascension our own thing. <laughs> yes, do it. Do we do it? Do we get the win? Finally! <laughs> oh, after five straight losses, it feels so good to just get one. To just get one. Um, all right, yeah. First of all, I'm learning Historic, like I said, so this was a, a learning process. Um, that was terrible. The deck was not great. I did not play great. Um, and so all that combined means that uh, I got some learning to do in Historic, but I will say it was still a really fun idea to play with. Um, unfortunately, we really didn't get to see it do its thing. We kind of did at one point, but it really wasn't, it didn't win us the game and it wasn't really over the top or anything. It was just kind of fun. Um, I do really like the idea of playing around with Anointed Procession. Maybe this just isn't the deck for it, uh, in which case we'll try some other ones. Uh, if you guys do want to see more historic gameplay, feel free to let me know in the comment section or in our Discord. We certainly would appreciate it. We can certainly do more of this kind of thing uh, in lieu of more standard content, which we normally do. Uh, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I like trying stuff, uh, trying stuff out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thanks for coming on this journey with me to, to historic where I lose every time. Uh, and it's absolutely silly and we try a dumb deck, but it's fun. I like it. So we'll try this again probably very soon, but thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you, uh, in the next gameplay video.